All right, Christy, great to catch up with you again. Crazy to think it's your first World Cup. I know you've had some ups and downs as well, but now that it's here, how does it feel? Uh, it feels it feels surreal. It feels amazing. Um, it's so exciting. I feel like every day I'm waking up and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm living my dream. I'm living my dream. Um, so we're just, I mean, Saturday can't come soon enough. I'm like so excited. I can't wait to get started. Um, all of us feel so ready and just so eager to um, finally get the journey started. So yeah, we're excited. And like I said, I mean, you're such a familiar face and name. It's so weird to kind of think that you're one of the debutantes at this World Cup. Mentally, the road that you've had and the soul searching you've had to do, um, how does it help you approach this World Cup? It surely must be a benefit, right? Yeah, I think so. I think that, um, you know, everyone has a story and I feel like everything that I've been through and everything that my that I've been through and has led me to this point has kind of um, just shown that I can do it and I can do anything. And it just like, it's that feeling of like, I've been through everything. Like now I'm here, I can do anything now. Like this is, this is just like so cool. And everything that I've done in my career has led up to this point. So I feel so ready. And then talking about this squad now um, that you're a part of as well, uh, what's the part of it that excites you the most with this current group of players? Because we just heard Alyssa, you know, quote Julie Foudy and say it's a privilege to be compared to the U.S. women's national team squads of old as well. So for this one now in terms of identity and what do you think is the best part of it? Um, Alyssa kind of touched on it in the press conference, but I think that um, we have some old and we have some new and the meshing together has been really cool to see because, um, you know, there's wisdom and there's um, tradition and there's all these things that the older players bring and then the young freshness of the younger players. Um, it's meshing well so good and I'm ex I'm so excited to see what happens. Like, I think that it's, it's honestly a perfect combination and that's what makes this team so special and I mean we just heard you talk about Megan Rapino. almost got me emotional as well how badly do you guys want to give this title to her as a nice little send-off yeah I th we I think we would love it I think she would love it um but yeah I mean we we need her here we we crave her presence like she is just like she's something else honestly like sh having her next to us during this is just going to be so special and it's going to help us all um and we obviously want to do it for her too so and then finally, the banter with Sam, how has it been? Because, I mean, Australia's been looking good. They beat England recently. But as you said, you guys want to constantly be the ones that lead. So what's it been like? Sam who? Sam. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> who? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been, it's been, it hasn't been, it hasn't quite started yet, the banter. I mean, we, we always have a little bit of banter, but um I think we're both just supporting each other through it, that we're both living our dreams. Um, and this is just such a cool experience to kind of be going through together a little bit in a way. So um, it's been really good. She's like my biggest supporter. I'm her biggest supporter. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, Chrissy, so good to see you back at this level. <laughs> so we you. hope to see you more again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.